The first house I ever bought cost me $70 a month to live in. Would you like to know exactly how to do this? Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, real estate investor, real estate broker, helping others build their businesses and creating financial freedom. So how is it even possible to live for $70 a month? While in college, I was able to buy a house with three and a half percent down. But let me show you exactly the mathematics on it. So the contract price was $124,500, three and a half percent down. I had to come out of pocket with $4,357. My financed amount was $120,000 roughly. At 5% interest, amortized over 30 years, principal and interest payment was $645 per month. If you take your taxes as well as insurance, the total nut on that property is $820 per month. Now I had two good roommates, they're paying $375 per room, which equates to $750. Simple math, you got your 820 of your monthly nut minus your income equals $70 that I had to come out of pocket every month to live in this property. Now, as you can see from this fancy floor plan, I can show you basically the, uh, the house setup. So I was in the master, which had my own bathroom. Fantastic, living $70 a month. And then I built bedroom number one and bedroom number two leased out to buddies of mine in college. So here are a few tips when you're buying your first home and you want to do this kind of scenario. Um, number one, if you go FHA financing, just make sure the property is in fair shape. We did run into a snag. Uh, there was some dry rot around the bottom of this entire property and the appraiser went out there and found the dry rot and said that they would not finance the deal unless this was taken care of. The problem was the seller had no interest at all in doing any repairs or even providing any credit for that matter. So we did get written per permission from the seller to go on the property, cut off all the dry rot on the bottom and replace the bottom trim uh, just so we can get financing. This was all before closing. I do not recommend that, but it was a, a deal that I had to get, so I was kind of willing to do whatever I needed to do. Second thing is you definitely want to make sure that the people that you choose to live in your house are going to be good people. They're going to be taking care of your property because hopefully you're also putting some time, effort, and sweat equity into this property so you can eventually flip it. In choosing roommates, you definitely want to make sure they have the financial capability. There's also a reduction in cost for utilities as we split them three ways, and that was with our electricity uh, as well as water bill and cable and internet. Just start. That's the biggest problem with a lot of people. They think that they don't, they can't uh, get financing. They think they have all these excuses not to buy a property when in fact they have full capability. There may be some roadblocks, like some credit issues or whatever the case is, but there's a lot of lenders out there. There's a lot of credit restoration companies you can sit down and speak with. Uh, just be careful in terms of giving them money. There's a lot of things you can get off your credit report um, by yourself by just writing the credit bureaus. You may be saying that you don't have the 3.5% down. There's grant programs out there. There's uh, government programs. And if there is no programs available, then you know, you're know you looking at 3.5% down. At least you have a goal lined up, a number in mind to start saving up for. Remember, there's a lot of tax benefits associated with it. You're gonna be able to write off the interest on that loan as well as your real estate taxes. Now, this situation may not be ideal with your current living conditions. Uh, you may have a family and so forth, and that's fine. I am gonna come out with another video on how you can make passive income using your property without even renting out any bedrooms. So my question to you is, what does it cost you to live in your home right now? What are you doing, if anything, to lower your cost of living? Put it in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos on how to create financial freedom and build your real estate empire. Until next time. That's a wrap. A nice shorty. I can read that. Oh, oh.
caught in the crossfire.